Hello. Welcome to LOTR TV. Hello. This is Ring or Dead. The new campaign is coming again. The official video recently released also shows us a lot of new things. According to the international practice, today it's your old friend, I, to explain it in detail. The name of the new campaign is Rings of Power, Kings of Men. It sounds like the home of Aragorn. But of course the most important thing is the ring. Four new units have been officially released this time, War Drummer, Spear Thrower, Shire Protector and Woodman. Let's see if the units are strong this time. Let's go. The first is the War Drummer. From the appearance of War Drummer, it is an evil side unit. It looks like a brother to the Yorks. But it is actually a neutral unit. Don't be deceived by the appearance. It is a very reliable 3 level unit that can make allies stronger. The speed and attack are not bad. It's normal. Inspiration can make all allies next damage deal plus 20%. In addition, Row Motivate gives allies a 35% chance to remove a debuff every turn. Increasing damage and reducing the impact of the enemy's debuff are conducive to keeping as many troops alive as possible. This is an advantage for group warfare. The second is the Spear Thrower. Spear Thrower, a ranger unit that is excellent at fighting against mounted units. The defense and speed are not as good as War Drummer, but the damage is okay. This is a common point of range units. Spear Throwing, against mounted units, can increase damage by 20% and make the speed of the hit enemy target minus 10, lasting for one round. It's not necessary for me to say more about such targeted units. When we all know what units the enemy brings, should we choose Spear Thrower? Barbed Spears increase damage, and prioritize the target that is not affected with bleed. The third is the Shire Protector. Hobbit Mounted Unit. Most effective when led by a hobbit or a man. It is estimated that I will never use the unit. Although its parameters are very good, damage 30 to 34, speed 125, defense 45, HP 88, which are better than the data of the first two units, and he has three skill points, each of which tells us that it is not simple. First, unexpected threat can have 50.0% chance to gain damage plus 50.0% in addition. Shire Protector cannot be targeted if the army includes other allied units. Second, pure of heart can make them not affected by madness in battle, and even have a 50% chance to purge allies affected by madness every round. Well-traveled is an addition only for hobbits or men. Shire Protector attack plus 10.0 and speed plus 10.0. I think it's better than the first two units. The fourth is Woodman. Woodman is a good partner of Dwaves, because when they fight together, they can reduce their energy defenses. Sharp Edge in order to achieve this effect, he can ignore 50.0% of target's defense 50.0% chance to reduce target's defense by 10.0 for one round when your army includes Dwaves which is very effective. And Nature's Veil can make it dodge damage. It is a defensive unit, at least I think so. Okay, fine. After learning about units, let's take a look at this blockbuster update. They just unlocked the new map. The southern part of the Middle Earth world will be opened in the new campaign. Haradabad and Umbar is an important city in the new map. And this time you no longer belong to any faction. At the beginning of the new season, you can choose one of the nine places on the map to start your journey, except Amon Lank. Moreover, these eight places will have a city with Power Ring as its capital. With the continuous progress of the server process, unlock the kingdom system and complete the corresponding tasks. You can establish your own kingdom. Once a kingdom is established, you can't cancel it. After joining the kingdom, when the server reaches a certain stage, you can't leave at will. But you can leave in three ways. 1. Exile of the Managed 2. Your Fellowship chooses to leave the Kingdom 3. Choose to leave Fellowship and leave the Kingdom Occupying the capital with the Ring of Power can make it develop faster and faster, because it has other bonuses, such as Kingdom Protection, which can allow the player to gain relocation or speed increase and other bonuses. Of course, there are other types of bonuses, after entering Season 6, I will tell you about this new game in detail. That's all for this video. At present, there are many things that have not been discussed in detail. Welcome to my Discord channel and let's discuss together. See you.